What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Here is an important update we received on the Samsung Galaxy S23 series, about which I could not really post a video because I've been traveling for the last couple of days. So I could not update you guys about this particular major update we have received on the S23 Ultra. Anyways, now coming to the update, as expected, this is a huge size that we have got here, 936.02 MB. And this update provides some major improvements in the camera department. However, in the change log, for some reason, Samsung did not mention all these improvements there's no details whatsoever. It only talks about stability and reliability and the security of the device which is improved. And it also says device stability improvements, bug fixes, new or enhanced features, further improvements to performance. But there is nothing specifically mentioned about the improvements in the camera application, which Samsung detailed it out a few days or probably a week ago. So here's the change log which talks about the camera improvements. In this video, let's take a look at some of those improvements that we have got. First one is added a function to the gallery so that you can delete photos that are being processed immediately after shooting from the camera. Let me open camera application here. Now when we press the shutter button to take an image, we can directly go to the gallery here and delete that image if we don't like it. This was already there, but now if the image is still processing when you go into the gallery, we will still be able to delete that image. As you can see, the image is processing and I'm able to hit the delete button and delete this image before it got processed. That's the first one. The next one is, for faster photo shooting, the AF concept has been changed so that when the user presses the shoot button, the focus can be taken immediately even if the focus is not completely aligned. Let me tell you what this means. Let's say you want to take an image, uh, you open the camera application, instantly the camera may not focus the subject. You might have to wait for a couple of seconds for the camera to focus on the subject. But if you don't want to wait and you want to immediately tap on the shutter button to take the image, it will immediately focus on the subject even if the focus is not completely aligned. That's an important improvement we have got when it comes to autofocus. Now here we also have the second option to prioritize the focus over speed. If you want to shoot the image after the focus is completed, like it used to happen before, you can change a particular settings in a camera assistant. You can just go to camera settings, tap on camera assistant, you will see this option called prioritize focus over speed. Just enable this toggle. Now you can wait for the camera to finish focusing before triggering the shutter button. When this is enabled, obviously you will see some shutter lag. Immediately you will not be able to capture the image by pressing the shutter button. It will wait for a couple of seconds and then capture the image because the autofocus has to be aligned perfectly before taking the image when this settings is turned on. Now let's move to the next one. This is in the video section. In the change log it says, after Super Steady is on while taking the video, there is an improved sharpness, flicker, and added instructions when shooting in ultra wide in low light indoors. Now, as you can see, I have turned on the video mode. And here on the left hand side, you can see the Super Steady option. We can turn this on to capture the video in Super Steady mode. And when you have turned this on, the update has improved the sharpness and flicker and added some instructions when shooting in ultra wide. As you can see in the low light condition, it is saying more light needed for Super Steady. This is another change we have got. And there are a few more improvements such as fix the issue of intermittent green streaks on the left side when shooting in rare photo mode, improved image stabilization when shooting with full HD 60 FPS after setting auto FPS off in rare video. So if you have turned off the auto FPS toggle in the settings, while you're in the rare video mode, the stabilization has been improved. Then Samsung has also mentioned about improved line ship banding noise in mid to low light sky when shooting high pixels in low and medium light, optimized overall sharpness when shooting high pixels and improved intermittent blur through OIS stabilization. And it also says fix the issue of face recognition intermittently after the end of third party video call. So if you are into video call on third party applications and if you have been facing face recognition issue intermittently, then this update should fix it. These are some of the important fixes and improvement we have got on the camera application with this brand new update we have received. Apart from that, the stability is pretty good everything is running smoothly there is no issue so far and the battery life has been the same as before uh, but it's too early to tell you guys about the battery life so i'm going to test this uh, for the next few days and if there is any issue with the battery life i will report it in the upcoming video so stay tuned for that now if you haven't received the update yet just go to the settings tap on software update and tap on download and install if the update is available in your region, you should be able to get this first April security patch, which includes all these camera improvements. That's all I want to share with you guys in this video. If you want to stay updated with your phone and if you want to know your phone better, be sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this useful. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.